Hello everyone! There are only a few days left before the European Championship, which is one of the main starts. But while we are not carried away by this start, it's time to discuss the latest news from the world of gymnastics. And quite a lot of interesting things happened during this time. Well, don't forget to subscribe to my channel in order not to miss new videos. And of course, put your thumbs up! I will be pleased. On the eve of the European Championship, the Ukrainian Gymnastics Federation is actively preparing for the tournament. So recently the official anthem of the European Rhythmic Gymnastics Championship was released. And with it, the video for the song. The composition was performed by famous singer Michelle Andrade, who is only 24 years old, but she sing sings in five languages. I think many of you are familiar with her tracks. For the European Championship, the song Only You, which was performed by Michelle, was written by no less but even a more famous performer, honored artist of Ukraine and co-founder of the production center Mosgi, Patap. Vice President of the Ukrainian Gymnastics Federation, Irisha Blachina, spoke in more detail about the anthem. The slogan of the Gymnastics Championship is the phrase, you light up this world. This phrase symbolizes every gymnast who walks onto the carpet. And only you song is about this, about the gymnast and the carpet. And that at the moment of the performance, the whole world is focused on her. And on this moment. The video was attended by gymnasts not only from Ukraine but also from other countries. A long time ago, a flash mob was organized by the Ukrainian Gymnastics Federation, where they asked to send videos of gymnasts from all over the world. Irina Dirugina even stared in the video. It turned out to be very interesting. I think we'll soon be able to compose the top from the competition. But even here, by the way, not everything went smoothly. Fans began to condemn Ukraine for the fact that Kristina Pogranichne, a member of the Ukrainian national team, did not appear in the video. Everyone started looking for a conspiracy theory and that the gymnast was being pushed into the federation. In general, everything is the same as in Russia. The same skirmish between fans. Only the names of the gymnasts are different. True. The situation was calmed down by explaining that Kristina is in Lviv, recovering from her injuries. And only for this reason she did not appear in the video. Write in the comments how you like the video and what you think about the conflict with Kristina Pogranichne. Should the gymnastics federation explain the reasons for the absence of gymnasts and is it correct that one of the main leaders of the national team was not included in the video? And other gymnasts were included. Meanwhile, preparations are underway for the European Championship, work has begun on the Olympic Games in Tokyo. So the leaders of the Olympic Committee visited the city where the Olympics were held and discussed the details of the Games. In particular, questions about quarantine and precautions. At the moment, it was decided that the Olympics in 2021 will be different from the previous ones and for the most part are not pleasant moments. For example, athletes will be prohibited from visiting the attractions. Social distances, masks and antisepsics will be everywhere. There will be no party in the athlete's village. In general, stringent antiquarian measures and rules for hygiene and disinfection will be applied. Also at the opening of the Olympics, it is planned to limit the number of athletes and delegations who can get there. Although the IOC wants to leave the tradition of all athletes attending the parade, but the number of seats for coaches and other their assistance will be limited. There is still no decision on the arrival of fans from abroad. There is a possibility that they will not be allowed in. But then the financial side of the Olympics will most likely work. So I think this issue remains open and will be resolved in favor of the fans. We will follow the situation and you write in the comments what do you think about this issue. Is it worth letting all the fans to the games or is it worth limiting the number of seats? Rhythmic gymnastics competitions have already been finally resumed in Spain, both among girls and among boys for young and adult athletes. But here we are interested in one moment, namely how in Spain they adjusted to the coronavirus and pandemic and how the competitions are going on now. So some gymnasts decided to transform the obligatory accessory into a part of the costume and even embroidered it with rhinestones. It looks very unusual, though I'm not sure that it's comfortable for gymnasts to breathe and perform in this. But it looks definitely interesting. Write in the comments how do you like this part of the costume. By the way, in addition to such innovations at the Spanish Championship, the system with masks is most interestingly configured. They take them off before going out to the carpet and put them on when they leave the carpet. In Russia, there is definitely no such a thing. Well, cute videos with hugs in 2020, how coaches and gymnasts are changing their traditions and habits. How do you like these hugs? Alexander Soldatova took a part in the Olympic Patrol. The Olympic Patrol is a program of the Russian Olympic Committee in which famous athletes take part. We'll talk about the 
their achievements, share their sports experience, answer questions, sign autographs, take pictures, and generally promote a healthy lifestyle and provide motivation for sports. So Sasha Saldatova visited Yaroslavl. Sasha is so loved in the world of gymnastics that she even prepared gifts for the meeting of the gymnasts. Very interesting information came out on the official website of the International Gymnastics Federation. I didn't want to talk about it, but on Instagram the majority voted to tell it. So subscribe to my Instagram, there is often something that is not on the channel. Well, to the topic. The topic is very serious and funny at the same time. FIG has published anti-doping rules supplements for 2021. The rules apply to everyone who is engaged in gymnastics, so for us it is, in principle, relevant. I will tell you not about all the changes, but about the most significant ones. I will use simple language to make it clear as possible. A clause has been added according to which people, those coaches, athletes, doctors and other personnel associated with the athletes will be disqualified for at least two years and at least for life if he did not report the athlete's doping or try to hide non-compliance with anti-doping rules. The funniest point that just killed me is so related to the use of drugs. I hope you don't need to remind anyone that drugs are bad, harmful, dangerous and in no case and should never been tried. However, the point associated with them is not all promoting this. So if the analysis of an athlete reveals traces of a use of cocaine, heroin, MDMA, ecstasy or THC and the athlete proves that he did not use in competitions, then the period of ineligibility can be reduced to three months. And if a rehabilitation program is attended, then by one. So it turns out, if an athlete uses furosemide, then you do not go in for sports for two years. And if a drug addict, then a month. It sounds very healthy, of course. You can, of course, try to justify this in the format that if an athlete is a drug addict and sports are taken away from him, then he will definitely not get out. And so there will be at least some motivation. And even more so if an athlete uses drugs, then he is unlikely to achieve something great in sports. Although, of course, there are always exceptions. In general, a very strange addition. Apparently, there were precedents. Write in the comments what do you think about this point. Rhythmic gymnastics judge from the Czech Republic, Yermila Zijanceva, was sanctioned by the Disciplinary Commission for violating the FIC Code of Ethics. So the judge was accused of filing an application with a notarized signature and seal. So Yermila Zajnetseva is now prohibited from submitting applications on behalf of the Czech Rhythmic Gymnastics Federation to international tournaments. She will also have to pay a fee of 5,000 Swiss francs, which is a little more than 400,000 rubles. The decision can still be appealed within 21 days, but the situation is also rather strange. If you think logically, why would a coach forge the signature and seal of the gymnastics federation in which she works? I have no questions in my head about this. If a signature can be forged in a format that the president of the federation is too lazy to sign, then forging a seal is already something wildly strange and definitely does not fit in the head. There is of course the option that the the Czech Federation changed its seal and the coach did not know about it and sent an application with the old seal and signature, except that this option sounds more or less adequate. Dora Vaz was born in 1991 in Budapest. Since 2004, she joined the Hungarian national team. She participated in six world championships and in three of them reached the all-around final. She represented her country at 10 European championships and retired from sports in 2016. She recently shared her secret life, which was hidden from the eyes of fans. Dora said that she always loved rhythmic gymnastics and is still associated with it. Working as a coach, however her path in sports and after was associated with problems, at first Dora admitted that she was not very much loved she changed the club and it was hard for her to fit into the already established society. By nature, she was modest and she herself did not make contact, did not have fun, but simply came out to the hall to work. The coach drew attention to Dora after seeing her abilities and began to devote more time to her which of course did not help to establish relations with other gymnasts. And here was followed by mockery on the part of girls. Women's teams are always probably always more evil, especially when they are jealous of the coach. Dora had to end her career for health reasons. Her body simply could not stand it. As she says, if there was an opportunity, she would continue to prepare for the Tokyo Olympics, but she never managed to perform at any Olympics. When Dora finished her career, she began to have problems with weight. She said that gymnasts in general have a disorder idea of normal weight and always consider themselves fat. This is how Dora is still struggling with the perception of her body and forbids herself to eat. And she also shared her personal life and her loneliness. From sports, Dora is used to being alone 
and according to her, young people are simply afraid to come up and talk to her. Write in the comments if you like Dora and do you remember her as an active athlete? Well, the sudden news of the issue? The Bulgarian Rhythmic Gymnastics Federation has officially announced that Niviana Vladinova has completed her career and will continue as the second vice president of the federation. Neviana was born in 1994 and has been one of the leaders of the Bulgarian national team for a long time. She has repeatedly won medals in World Cups, Grand Prix and even World Championships. At the 2016 Olympics she was 7th in the all-around and I was preparing for Tokyo this year. But a serious neck injury caused Niviana to end her career. Write in the comments the exercise that you remember most from Niviana. We'll put together a small collection and I will make a selection of them. After all, she was a very bright gymnast and you just can't forget her for sure. Well, for today the news has come to an end, I'll see you very soon in the next video, remember that I love you all, and for now, goodbye. The video was translated and dubbed by Alexandra Sinitsa.